I tend to judge my entire self-worth based on my accomplishments, and I should really stop doing that, except I don't know how to. I know a lot of my friends also only feel a value if they achieve something or accomplish something, and I don't mean achieving happiness or anything like that, I mean something society deems substantial, a productive goal, if you may. The dejection that accompanies the occasional failure to accomplish said productive goal ignores all that was gained in the process of attempting to accomplish it and really takes a toll on our mental health. We also tend to view any time not spent in pursuit of such goals as wasted. So we overwork ourselves, feel anxious that something is wrong if we're not constantly stressed, and eventually burn out. Where am I going with this? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is, Time spent doing things we enjoy is not time wasted. You don't have to spend every second of your life working towards an end result. You can just enjoy doing something while doing it without it having to have any significant consequence. The things we choose to do are not useless if they don't serve as or ultimately contribute to a stream of income. Your identity should not be solely attached to your career and education. Grind culture can be deceptive and can very easily become toxic. Allow yourself to do things, for no reason other than that they are enjoyable. You don't even have to be good at something in order to continue doing it. You can do it badly as long as you like doing it. Write poetry that is painful to hear, design dresses and houses that will never be made, draw things nobody will ever be shown, exist outside of deadlines. Do things because they add joy to your life. Do things even if they add only joy to your life. I think we're all lacking it and that's quite terrible, honestly. Achieving joy should be one of the most substantial accomplishments one can have. I mean, isn't it the point of literally anything? Capitalism has fooled you into thinking you have to derive maximum profit from every endeavor. The truth is, you don't have to capitalize on every creative or intellectual pursuit. You can pursue things just because. Two years of dance lessons are not wasted simply because you kept them to yourself and didn't perform on a stage or in your living room in front of other people. I mean, you did learn, and that has to count for something. You could also be very passionate about dance and choose not to take lessons at all. Everything doesn't have to be a skill that you try to perfect. Read about microbiology while doing a law degree, or vice versa. As crazy as it sounds, you can do things just for yourself. Of course, the most disgusting thing about life is that it doesn't treat everyone equally, and I recognize that certain privilege accompanies being able to do things for the sake of it. I believe, and I know, that it is important to value and support local businesses and small artists. We should do this while at the same time understanding that shame and guilt are not necessary if we don't spend every waking moment in pursuit of a substantial productive goal. Or, in other words, in pursuit of money. <laughs> I guess what a lot of this video sort of boils down to, essentially, is if you like singing and you sound like a dying whale when you do it, sing anyway. Sing whether you have an audience or not, whether your career involves and requires it or not. Sing because it makes you happy. Trust the time spent singing or making fan edits or reading about the history of chocolate. If it truly brings you joy, is time well spent. And if anyone asks what it even adds to your life, tell them, tell them joy. <laughs>